glad to see you all. It's been two weeks since the last time we had the webcast. My name is Dmitry. I'm the portfolio manager trader and together with BeatsGap, we are working on the artificial intelligence automated bots to let you guys boost your trading performance, to let you minimize losses in case the market goes in the uh, opposite direction as you expected. We are also working on various tools to let you uh, control the risk better, to have a fully controlled risk exposure on the market, fully automated. So today we will talk specifically about the risk management. So what are the five major ways that we have at BeatsGap to let you exit the market depending on the volatility scenario on the market. So I will guide you through all of the tools that we have, both for the manual and automated trading to have a full control over your risk exposure. We will also cover what are the strategies that we have and what are the best uh, configurations for automated bots to take the best out of the sideways market so basically what is the best configuration to have a maximized return on the sideways market what is the best configuration for the uptrend market and i will also demonstrate you how exactly like just in a matter of few clicks it literally takes just one or two minutes for you to test any strategy based on the configuration that you set the grid amount, the investment volume, the trading range. So everything is can be tested in the backtest mode so that you can compare different strategies with one another and compare the performance of one cryptocurrency with another. And I will also demonstrate you how you need to track your performance. So what are the key metrics that we have at BeatsGap uh, to analyze your winner and losing trades. So let's dive into this topic. And for newcomers and for those who are new at BeatsGap, let me briefly explain to you what are what is the logic behind our automated bots, how basically they function. So the idea, that's not the one I wanted. Let's, let's first go to, to this one. Yeah, just a second. So the idea of the bots is that, first of all, you set the trading range for them within which they are going to trade on your behalf. So you have the highest sell price, which is basically the upper limit, and you have the lowest buy price, which is basically the lower limit price. And within this trading range, you have sell limit orders and buy limit orders, which are also known as grid levels. And the idea is that the bot like the price constantly swings right so it goes down and it can also go up and the bot takes advantage of these market swings as it buys low in order to sell later at a higher price so imagine the price and let me actually use the pointer here so imagine if the price from the current price goes higher and triggers our first limit sell order at 11,500. So what's going to happen is that the system executes the limit sell order. So we basically cash out with the amount of 11,500 and we take 11,250 out of this cash out to plot a new buy limit order. So the difference in the price in this case is exactly what stands for the bought profit generated. And this can be a never lasting process as far as the price stays within the trading range, 
that we set for the bot. All right. So it's absolutely normal to see the bot executing uh, 200 trades per day. It can be less, it can be more. Uh, it just depends on the market volatility, how uh, severely the market swings intraday. It can be up by 20%, it can be down by 30%. So that's what we call volatility. And the higher is the volatility, the more trade opportunities there are for the uh, bot to execute trades. So let's go back to this one. So when it comes to automated trading uh, with Beatscap, here you have everything you need. So you have the strategy for the sideways market. And for this formation, we have a strategy called the S-Bot. We have the classic bot for the rising market. So I will show you uh, in which scenarios the classic bot outperforms the S-Bot and the opposite when the S bot outperforms the classic bot. So you will also find how to uh, monitor the daily performance of any of your active bot strategy. So that basically implies the daily profit generated by the bot. And by looking at this statistics, you can always uh, see what is the average daily return that you can expect further from this strategy that you set. We also have the trading app so that you can follow the market rally 24 seven, even in times when you are not in front of the computer. Five exit strategies as I uh, promised to show you and the rules that you need to follow. So let's assume that you used to trade manually, right? So you look at the chart and you see that the current price looks like an optimal one to enter in a long position. So you basically want to profit on the rising market as you expect it to continue the rally. So let's assume that at this price you buy one Bitcoin at the price of 26,000. And let's assume that later the price moves higher and now you decided that that's the peak and most likely from that peak the price is gonna fall so based on this uh, an analysis of your own you decided to sell your bitcoin to lock in the profit of 3500 in this case but what happens later is that the price goes even higher that was something that you might have not expected. And this, in this case, is a missed opportunity for you because you would have made more. You would have made 9,000 in this case just if you would have waited a bit longer, all right? But the point here is that you never know what will be the highest price. You can project the market direction right but you never know what will be the highest price so that you would be able to uh, exit the market at the highest price possible all right so this is where automation steps in because with a fully automated system like the one we have at this gap you don't have to worry about this anymore because the like the board is able to execute trades on a daily basis, it, it is able to capture all of these market swings and you see so many mini trades occurred during this rally. So there is a mini buy low, a mini buy trade, a mini sell trade. So all together combined, these trades, they make up a decent return in any case. So the advantage here is that the bot follows the market 24 seven and it is completely uh, indifferent towards the price because it always finds these opportunities to buy low and sell high. So that's what we call uh, an optimal strategy 
to follow the market rally. So you don't have to stay in front of the computer 24 seven. You have this fully automated system to generate returns for you. And yeah, so you see in any case you end up with a decent return. So let's now move on. Not the one, yeah, let's continue. So five steps that you have to take into account when it comes to the automated trading. But before that, let's go to the uh, platform itself to see what is the interface of the automated trading and how you can uh, use it to generate quick trade ideas. So of course, once you go to the bot section, uh, what pops out here is the chart itself. And on this chart, let, let me use another one. Let's use make trading to USDT. And you see this the, the uh, system automatically defines the trading range. And of course, you can always manipulate this. Like you can drag the lower price to the point where you need this lower price to be. And you can drag the upper price to the point where you need it to be. So let's assume that you are trading from the resistance and support line. So of course, now you look at the support and resistance. So the resistance here, like if you quickly take a look, it's more or less around this area where I have now my upper price. And the support is going to be at this level in this case. So that's the option for you to trade. You can trade from the support and resistance. That's the way for you to define the trading range. Of course, you can also uh, use the right side panel where you can change the lower price manually and the upper price manually. And the idea here is that you need to decide uh, well, of course, first of all, you have to conduct the uh, technical analysis if you want. And here you have all the tools you need. You have the uh, like the pitch fan, you have the GAN fan, Fibonacci retracement levels if you need to trade from. You have different uh, geometrical shapes to find patterns on the market, like the head and shoulders pattern. You can also find triangle symmetrical bottom or top. So there are quite many patterns that exist on the market that can tell us a, a lot more about the price action. So you have all the tools here uh, to use to conduct your technical analysis before you make up your decision, right? So once you've decided to trade this crypto, now is the time to select the strategy. And as I said, you have two strategies, the as bot, which is optimal for the sideways market. And under the sideways market, what we mean is that the price moves within the uh, horizontal support and resistance lines in most cases. So that's what we call the sideways market. The, the sideways market is basically the uh, phase of equilibrium when sellers and buyers are pretty much fighting for the fair price on the market. Or also you can see the period of uh, stagnation like this when when the price is about to breach the resistance to go higher or it is about to breach the support to go lower all right so that's basically the period of accumulation when sellers and buyers are fighting with each other for the fair price and this is where you can take advantage of this market phase by taking the asbot strategy because it's the optimal one for the uh, sideways market. And the reason for that is because of the investment distribution logic that it has. So the idea of the SBOT logic is that it always um, makes sure that it spends the same investment for each level. So you see within this trading range, we have all of these grid levels. And the SBOT strategy ensures that it spends the same investment for each of these grid level. So that's why 
regardless of the price moving higher or lower if the price goes higher in this case it just buys less coins but ensures that it spends the same investment value as if the price would trade somewhere over here all right so that's the idea whereas when it comes to the classic bot the classic bot and let me actually show you because i have some active trades here so this one is actually the classic bot let's see the performance and go to open orders so you see you have the same amount of cryptos to be purchased and sold on the market so this implies that the investment per each grid level is different all right so if you multiply the amount by the price, the, the investment value will be different compared with the one that you have here lower if you multiply this column. Whereas when it comes to the SBOT, and let's go to open orders, you see the amount of cryptocurrencies that it's going to buy, it varies depending on the price. So the lower is the price, the more crypto it is able to buy. But if you multiply the amount by the price, this is going to be a constant value. Like the in investment value per each of this level is going to be the same. All right. So that's the primary difference between the S bot and the classic bot. And that's why we stick to the S bot strategy when we expect the market to trade in the sideways. Because in this case, your risk exposure is at the adequate level so when the price rises it does not increase the risk exposure as in case of the classic bot so here's the com uh, comparative analysis between the s bot and the classic bot so what i did here is i have the uh, basic attention token trading to usdt uh, both uh, both of them you see the date range is the same so that was the period of 13 days and that's the same period over here let me use the pointer and the same period for the classic bot and the same crypto so all uh, conditions are the same the same date range uh, the same amount of grid levels the only difference is in the strategy and it turns out that on this sideways market, the ASBOT demonstrated 3.06% generated in the bot profit. So that's the profit generated in the bot currency USDT. So that's plus 3% to your investment in the bot currency. Whereas for the same period, the classic bot has only demonstrated 2%. So it's clearly what we see here is that the ASBOT outstrips the classic bot by one percent so that's why uh, this is something that you can actually test by yourself by going to the platform here and uh, using the back test all right for any crypto you can set the date range let's say for two weeks from that period you just save it and here you go you have your results um, it just takes time for it to calculate but you can uh, backtest any strategy by using the backtest mode to see what would be the performance so this one was for the class for the s board and for the classic you can also backtest it so that's the way of how you can do this and you don't have to just blindly trust me that's it's just that i did this research already and the s board is optimal for the sideways and the classic is optimal for the rising market. So when you see uh, that the sideways uh, market is that there is a sideways market phase supported, and most importantly, if you spot the sideways formation on a rising trend in general, so what do you have to do at first? You look at the trend. If the trend is rising, and on this rising trend you spot a sideways phase, then that's the uh, from the statistical point of view the best time to enter the trade with the S bot strategy. So this what you have here on the chart is three uh, consolidation periods 
on the rising trend. So this is where it would be best for you to enter the market with the SBOT strategy. Because what you end up with is the price breaching the resistance and it goes higher. And there is a tool actually that you can use to even maximize your returns if the price goes above the uh, trading range, which is known as the trading up. And that's why it is called trading up because this ensures that if the price goes higher, and by that what I mean is that it breaches the upper price, like for instance like this. So in this case, the, the trading range of yours, like the initial trading range, it's going to move together with the price. So it's going to move higher automatically. So that's what we are looking for. We are looking for the sideways market phases on a rising trend and with the trading up we are able to maximize our returns because statistically on the rising trend most cases that the price breaches the upper limit and that's why with the trading up you will get more returns as the trading range will follow the market rally here's the exact comparison with the simple hodl strategy imagine that you just you just purchase the Bitcoin cash at, at this point over here and now you you do nothing about it it just lays in your portfolio and you hope that the price will appreciate in the nearest future so that you will get your profits from the market and in fact yes it goes higher by five percent you see to that current price but this return is significantly less compared with the uh, return that you would have generated with an, with an automated strategy so with the as bought in this case if you would have launched it here instead of just holding the bitcoin cash uh, you would get 14 percent and that's because of the added value as the bot was generating profits in the quote currency on this market swings you see as the price was falling it was buying crypto at the lower price as the price was moving higher it was able to sell it later at the higher price so this process uh, results in a higher return so you see 14 percent compared with five percent so this is like the perfect example of how uh, automated strategy uh, outperforms a simple hodl strategy by almost three times all right so it no longer makes sense to hodl cryptocurrencies in 2021 when you have a fully automated algorithm to uh, execute trades on your behalf on every market swing to maximize your returns by two times three times sometimes even more all right so that's a long-term effect and some uh, bots are able to demonstrate 300% annually, some even more. So that depends on the crypto and the volatility that it has. So let's uh, see what is the situation with the classic bot. So with the classic bot, what is optimal is a rising market. So when you expect the price to rally significantly then, in this case, stick to the classic board because it has been proven that the classic board demonstrates higher return. You see the same date range that was XRP trading to USDT. And for the S board, the return for this period was only 53%, which is still a pretty decent number. But when you know that there is a better strategy, stick to it. And in this case, that's the classic. So if you expect the market to rally like you see here in case of xrp then stick to the classic because the in this case your return would be 70 percent for just four days and that's 70 percent against 53 percent so this is clearly how the classic bot outstrips the s bot and once again you can backtest this in the uh, backtest mode that we have so once again you don't have to blindly follow my observations you have all the tools here at your disposal and you can compare the classic board 
and the SBOT configuration on any crypto of your choice. You see the list of all pairs that you have here for the Binance. If you are trading on Bitfinex, of course, you have the list of relevant cryptocurrencies on the Bitfinex. So that's uh, completely up to you which exchange you choose and what the crypto you want to trade. If you don't know which crypto to trade, even for that case, we have the solution for you. So here, if you scroll down, you have the list of recommended strategies that you can stick to. So these are the cryptocurrencies that you see here. These are top performers uh, in terms of the uh, bot profit generated for the period of last month. If you want to see top performance of the last week, then just click to week. And here you go, you see that Reef was the top performer uh, in bot profit for the period of last week. So you can also change it to a three days period. And that's it. So this is how you can find uh, recommended cryptos to trade. So that means that if you see, if they have such a decent return, so that means that there are traders trading this crypto and that there is enough liquidity on the market so that bots are able to achieve such impressive results. Otherwise, if those cryptocurrencies would be illiquid or like uninteresting for the traders, then the bot would never achieve such impressive results. So that's why using this uh, sidebar tool, you can find cryptocurrencies to trade. So this is how you can generate your trade ideas just by using recommended strategies over here. Of course, it doesn't mean that in the next month, this the same result will be for the DNT, like 81%. No, it's just based on the backtest results of its past monthly performance. We don't know how the price will fluctuate the next month, right? But at least we can use this matrix to um, estimate future projections. So you see, they have proven to be interesting for the market. So that means that at least we can expect pretty much, well, if not the same, but close to results in the next month, maybe next week. So that's up to the volatility, all right? So that's what you have here uh, to use in order to generate trade ideas. So once you decided which cryptocurrency to trade and which strategy to, to choose, depending on your projection. So let's say I assume that the one inch bit to Bitcoin will continue the rally. So in this case, I will launch the classic bot because I know that the classic bot is the best one on the rising market. I will now define my investment value. And here I have this simple tool where I can uh, adjust the investment by the percentage. So let's say I want to invest 700 USDT. And let's assume that I want my trading range to be over here. Let me just delete this. And let's now reduce the grid levels to, let's say, 100. So what you have to remember here when it comes to the grid amount is that the more grid levels you plot, the uh, like the more capital is required because each grid level requires a minimum investment, in most cases, 10 USDT as of the Binance rules, all right? The rules can be different on other exchanges, but on Binance, in most cases, the minimum trade size is 10 USDT. So if you reduce the uh, amount to 50, then in this case, requirements, they diminish. What you also have to know is that uh, the fewer grid levels you have, like let's say 10, notice that the gap between your grid levels is now increased significantly. And that's why your grid profit, also known as the grid step, is now 4%. But by having this uh, setup with only 10 grid levels, you risk, 
your risk is that the price never reaches all of these grid levels because they are so far located from each other that the price must swing so crazy that it is not so it would be able to uh, seize all of these grid levels when you have more grid levels let's say 50 now your space between grid levels reduces so they are now located tightly to each other so that means that most likely the vast majority of these grid levels will be triggered by the market rally or downside momentum if it falls from that point a bit so in any case uh, how t how tightly you locate your grid levels uh, results no actually let me let me use another phrase for that to explain so once again the more grid levels you plot the higher chances that the price will capture all of these like the vast majority of these grid levels and the fewer grid levels you plot the larger your gap is now and the, the, the higher is the risk that the price will not trigger the vast majority of your grid levels. So let's say it can fall from that point and then revert. So you see it did not reach this buy limit order. Whereas if you would have 50 grid levels, you see uh, at least four or five grid levels would have been triggered by the price. So apparently stick to the strategy with grid levels from uh, where I have it from 60 to 100 when you expect the uh, the market to stay in a medium volatility and consider having from 10 to 60 grid levels when you expect the market to swing crazy so here's the example Let's say uh, so. Let's say the price of the crypto, and let's call this crypto X, it moves up by ten percent intraday, and it moves down, let's say, uh, seven percent intraday. All right. So this is a pretty much a decent volatility. And for this uh, crypto, you can stick with the strategy from, uh, let's say, 30 grid levels. This, like 30 or maybe even 50, this would be enough. Whereas if the volatility is very uh, insignificant, let's say only uh, three, well, let's, make it, let me, let's use another tool we have forecast. So let's say it moves just uh, five or percent intraday and down it falls also pretty much uh, i have so many tools here and down also somewhere around four percent so this is a small volatility and for this consider having at least 70 like 60 grid levels to even a higher number let's say 100 because in this case, the uh, the gap is lower, and the t like the tightly your grid levels located to each other, the higher are the chances that they will be triggered by the price action. So that's the idea of how you define the amount of grid levels. In any case, you end up like in the midterm and long term perspective, you end up with a decent return. In any case regardless of the amount of grid levels. It's just that you have to consider the volatility and if the volatility is, is crazy, then uh, 30 grid levels and, or even 40 is enough. Whereas if there is a very uh, small volatility and the price is barely moving intraday, then you must consider having around more than 100 grid levels. So that's what you have to keep in mind. And you can actually use this uh, small guide that I have here for you to... Uh, to, to configure your bots, all right? So you have the crypto you want to trade. You define the trading range. 
you define the grid levels and now you have to stick to the uh, investment you have to uh, allocate and the value that you can afford to allocate and by the very end you have to consider some of the tools that we have to have a control over your risk exposure and that's the stop loss and some other tools like the training up and the take profit to secure your returns and also to maximize your returns so we've learned that we will stick to the uh, classic board on this crypto because let's let's assume that we expect it to uh, appreciate like we expect the market to continue the rally like this for instance so that's why what I see here is that the volatility, let's see, 24-7, you see, for one day, the volatility was 13%, and it looks pretty much the same for every day, if you look at it. You can use this tool to estimate the volatility. You see, 10% intraday. So this volatility tells me that it is enough for this crypto to have uh, around 50 grid levels or even 40, that would be enough because the volatility is impressive here. So now we stick to the investment. So you look at your balance to see if you have enough of Bitcoins to launch it. So it turns out that with this trading setup, I can easily launch my uh, bot. Otherwise, if you, I reduce the value, you see, now the balance is not enough. It tells me that in order to launch this strategy with 40 grid levels, I must have at least this amount of Bitcoins. So let's assume that you don't have this amount of um, Bitcoins at your disposal, but you still want to uh, stick to this strategy. So you will click on adjust grid quantity. And now with this investment of only 82 USDT, you can launch this configuration, but in this case only 17 grid levels. If you want to have 40, make sure that you have more uh, capital. So you see, at least 200 is what you need to launch this configuration. Let's switch the trailing up. Let's put also the stop loss. And let's put the stop loss maybe below this level where breaching this support line would imply that the price most likely will continue the downfall. So that's how you can uh, generate trade ideas, start. Now the bot will automatically buy the required amount of inches because you see, in order to launch it, I must have some of inches already to allocate all of these sell limit orders. And I also must possess enough of Bitcoins to allocate all of these buy limit orders. So I click on start. It buys the required amount of inches. Yes, buy. It fails it with a market buy order. Let's see. So here we go. And now we are in the game. You see the value that we invested, the bot profit, the uh, trading time. So everything you have here. To look at other trades that you might have already active, click on the column over here. And you see all information you need, like the bot profit generated so far. The investment changes up by 10% your initial value. You also see the information like what is the amount of base currencies currently in the uh, in open trade. So this is basically your risk exposure right now. The more of the base currency you have in your active trade, the higher is your risk exposure to the market because the theta price fluctuates, right? And you also have the quote in open orders. In this case, that's the BBC. The grid, well, all the information you need here, like the field orders. Uh, also, we estimate, like we calculate the fee paid per each uh, limit sell or limit buy order. And that's something that uh, only BeatsGap has as we calculate it automatically. So the bot profit generated is a, is a, is a net profit. Uh, yeah, that's the net profit. Uh, and the fees are already implied. So that's how you can analyze the uh, performance. You also have the bot statistics here, and you see that 
there is a daily return information. Well, that's actually hourly return because we just launched this one uh, 14 days ago. So if I move it to the left side, you will find more information like what was the performance before, like what was the uh, amount of Bitcoins generated before. So for each exact date here. And it, as you look at this chart, more or less you see that the average um, profit that you generate here is somewhere around this number, right? So right now we don't have these metrics of uh, average daily returns, but most likely we will add them later. But right now just use what you have and it is already quite impressive that what we've developed here is that you already can see the average return generated and what is the um, mean deviation as well just by looking at the chart over here and so this is our active trade already the one that we launched and let's assume that you forgot to uh, to switch your take profit so you can do this later you can just click it here so once your uh, investment change reaches uh, 5% then the bot will automatically uh, close the close the position so it will sell all of the base currency and it will start it will stop trading in this case because it has achieved your take profit of 5% you can set it to 10%, for example, it can be 19%. So that's up to you. So the key metrics here to monitor is the uh, bot profit and the investment change. So investment change is the first priority metric because it tells us exactly what is the return in this uh, investment. So you see here I'm up by 10% in PETA trading to Bitcoin. In some cases, you see that the uh, investment change can be different from the bot profit value. So that's because, you see, that's UFI trading to Bitcoin. And here I have my investment change by 9% lower when the bot profit. And that's because at some point, UFI um, was falling. Like you see right now, it is falling, basically. So you see, initially I've been generating the profit, then it rose to that point, higher high here, and then it started to fall. So that's why my investment change uh, started to diminish because the value of UFI started to depreciate. But in any case, I have my bot trading 24-7, always looking for these buy low and sell high opportunities. It generates profits regardless of the market direction. So on the sideways, on the rising market, and even on the falling market like this one, it always finds these short-term trade opportunities to generate these uh, returns, which offset the negative value of my UFI depreciating right now. So in any case, once again, the first priority metric here is the investment change. That's the only thing uh, you basically need to take into account. As far as you are in the positive zone, that means that you generate returns. And can be also the case that, and let's use the uh, stop history. Let's go back to maybe November. So you see I have some trades where I have uh, minus 18 percent and then let's actually maybe demonstrate an example that i have in the presentation so this one you see that uh, if you would just buy quantum uh, where i have my arrow pointing at the hodl at this point of time at this uh, price and you would hold it down to that point, you would be minus by 6.88%, all right? But with the automation, as the board, as I said, it, it trades regardless of the market direction. 
and that's why it was able to generate returns even on this falling market. This return, you see here in the bot profit, it offsets the negative value change of the quantum, and that's why in my automated strategy, I have only minus 3% compared with the minus 6%, well, actually minus 7%, that you would have if you would just simply hodl the quantum, all right? So that's why that's another advantage of automation is that on the falling market, it minimizes your loss in any case because of the cost average dollar effect, all right? And that's why minus three is apparently better than minus 7%. And that's what I have here as well, you see, minus 18%, it would be around, I guess, minus 25% unless the bot profit. So the bot profit generated here in Bitcoin, it offset the negative value change of AGI falling during that period of time. And that's why I have only minus 18%, whereas I could have minus around 25%, if not the automation. So... Keep this, keep this also in mind when trading. So now is the time to explore what are the risk management tools that we have. So the stop loss, that's pretty simple one. You just set it below the uh, trading range where you expect the price might fall to that point, but you cannot afford it to fall below that point. So this is your area below which you, you will not let the price to fall. So that's why always make sure that you plot the stop loss because this is how you control the risk. This is how you uh, control your investments, all right? So even if your technical analysis is sound, you can be wrong, all right? Because that's the market and sometimes it can uh, act unexpectedly. So that's why always ensure that you have the stop loss. So you see this one, like this price was moving. It, it, I mean, it respected the support angled up. It bounced off it almost each time. You see over here, bounce off, approached support, bounce off, approached support, bounce off. It doesn't mean that next time it approaches the stop loss, that it will bounce off. It can be that this time, as it approaches the stop, uh, the support line, that it can break it. So that's why always make sure that you have the stop loss to control the risk just in case. So another tool that we have is uh, over here, as you. As you see, my investment change is in the negative zone. Now I have a few more options to uh, exit the market. So I click on this one button and I can now select sell at the market price, for example. So let's say uh, I no longer want to hold on to this trade and I just want to have a 100% exit from the market. Then you can click to sell at the market price and it will instantly sell this whole amount of the base currency that you have to uh, get rid of the risk exposure entirely. So that's basically 100% exit from the market. You can also cancel all open orders, but still you will remain, like, like, like on the, your balance, you will still have this 40 inches so that means that even though the bot is no longer trading for you you still have this amount of base currency which affects your portfolio value as the price of inch will fluctuate all right so keep in mind that canceling out open orders does not imply selling the base currency just using the sell at the market price implies that it sells like it gets rid of all of the base currency and in this case you will not see inches in your balance so our bots are designed to uh, spot 
extreme pump and dump scenarios on the market. That's the built-in security mechanism, which is basically a know-how as of today. And it is able with the highest uh, odds of success rate, it is able to um, project to spot extreme pump and dump scenarios on the market. And once it spots this extreme pump and dump, the trading halts for a while until the market stabilizes and you will see this status like the pump protection. So when you see the status here, pump protection, it means that for a while your bot is no longer trading because it is waiting for the market to stabilize to continue trading. So what else we have here? We have this option to enter with a break-even price. Let's actually uh, reload the page because I don't see it for some reason. It should be available for my one inch to Bitcoin because my investment change is minus 0.33%. So let's see if we have it now. No, for some reason we don't have the break even now, but it actually has to be here because when your investment change is negative, it implies that you can exit the market with a 0% of the investment change. So it calculates what is the price for you to exit, which will bring you 0%. So, so let's say you don't want to bear a loss of minus, let's say minus 2% is your current loss, all right? And let's say you don't want this to, uh, you don't want to fix this minus 2%. You want to at least exit the market with a 0%. Let's say it, the price was falling and to that point your investment change is exactly minus 2%. So to exit the market with a 0%, the price must go higher a bit. So the system that we have here, it automatically calculates this break-even price. So it's going to be around over here. So this is where if the price reaches that point this is where your investment change will be zero percent so if you will use this option of a break-even close uh, once it reaches this level where your investment change is zero percent it will automatically close the trade so that's an option for you to consider if you expect the market to uh, continue moving in the in the direction that you did not expect. So in this case, you did not, let, let's say you, you, you expected the price to rally, but instead it started to fall. So instead of having minus 2%, you expect it to rally a bit before it continues the downfall. So on this over here period, this is where your op opportunity of uh, exiting the market with only 0% arises, all right? That's quite risky because this implies that even on the falling market, you need like you, you want the price to rally a bit. So uh, trading against the market is risky always. But uh, in any case, you have this option to consider when trading is that instead of having minus 2%, you can risk to exit the trade with a break-even option and you will end up with a 0% in this case, all right? So that's the uh, another tool that we have, which you should buy, uh, find here. But for now, I don't have uh, any negative trades here, except this one to show you this break-even option but no worry you will find it over here as you open this one and you will find that there is an option to close at the break even price all right and of course the last one is the take profit well actually the one that i already demonstrated that's another risk management tool which ensures that it secures your return so once the price reaches a certain uh investment change percentage let's say 10 percent 
it closes the trade automatically it sells all of the base currency and it locks in the profit of 10 percent in this case so let's now move to another topic which is quite useful for many traders is some ready-made strategies that i have for you so for the sideways market you remember this one we stick to the uh, asbot configuration right and here we have proven that the asbot is better on the sideways compared to the classic so this one is the pattern that you can find on the market and once you recognize this pattern you can enter it with the asbot configuration so you see the price is moving in within the horizontal uh, range from the resistance and support line so it bounces off the support successfully but at the same time it reverts from the resistance so what we see here is that the price respects the support and respects the resistance and we can take advantage of this market action so what we can do is that we can enter this uh, formation with the configuration like this one so not only you have to see the price uh, bouncing off the support you need to see the price rising a bit as a sort um, as a kind of a confirmation that the support line sustained so i do not recommend to to uh, go long as the price just reaches the support because even if it reaches the support it doesn't mean that it will bounce off it there is still a chance that it will break it but if you wait a bit and you wait until you see the rally like over here this provides you more confidence that most likely it will continue this short-term rally up to the next resistance point so this is where you can enter the market with this configuration you see this trading range defined by the support and resistance lines you see that over here i have an around 70% uh, of my sell limit orders located and around 30% of buy limit orders just in case it still falls a bit before it continues the rally of course you set your stop loss below the support so that's the point if the price breaches the support that means that uh, this uh, pattern did not sustain so it it's no longer makes sense to stick to it and that's why stop loss below it is the uh, like the minimum requirement that you need to uh, stick to in order to have a full control over your risk exposure so yeah that's the uh, optimal pattern for the uh, asbot strategy uh, let's see what else i have for you here um, okay so for the asbot that's the one i have and for the classic bot i have this one for you so once you see the price is uh, going higher so you see it makes new higher high and it makes a new higher low this is where you can spot a rising like angled up resistance line and angled up support lines and even here you see it reaches the support and bounces of it reaches support and bounces of it so once you see it that the price successfully bounces off the support this is where you can enter with in this case the classic bot configuration to take advantage of a rising market so here as well around 70 percent of the sell limit orders and 30 percent of buy limit orders you set your stop loss below the support and you expect the price to establish a new higher high somewhere around here based on this angled up resistance formation so use these patterns also this one you see three rising valleys so there are quite many patterns that exist on the market and it just that those that i show you right now they have proven to be successful uh, because if you look at the historical price then you will find that in most cases each time the the market formed these patterns they uh, played out successfully so around 72 or 73 percent as far as i recall based on my uh, 
statistical analysis, these patterns have proven to be successful. You can also learn about other patterns that we have, like the cup and handle, um, rising channel. Uh, well, there are quite many of them. So find your set of patterns that you want to follow. So, and once you spot them on the market, you can enter the market with the configurations that I already demonstrated to you. All right. So, for example, for this one, that's also optimal for the uh, classic bot. Three rising valleys. You can enter at the breakout with this configuration. So, set your stop loss below the support line and set your upper price somewhere to the uh, next key resistance level. All right. So that's the way of how you can trade. So you see, breakout of the previous higher high over here, you enter with the configuration like this. So it's clearly up to you guys, which uh, like, what is the technical analysis you stick to? Like maybe you are trading using the patterns. Maybe you are trading based on the uh, indicators. Like you look for the oversold and overbought conditions on the market it's clearly up to you it's just that i have some strategies for you to follow because they have proven to be successful for me and it doesn't mean that this is something that will work best for you it's just that at least you can start with this uh, ready-made strategies to learn how automated bots work how like find your best way in this case and that's why we have the uh, demo mode uh, over here so all the trades that i have here these are demo mode trades that means that i'm trading with virtual money and that this implies that this is a risk-free trading simulation so here is basically your send of experiments so find your best configuration Compare different strategies with one another. Use the backtest to find optimal configuration and the best crypto for you to trade based on the volatility and risk to return metrics. So everything here is at your disposal to experiment and to find best trading setup based on your uh, risk appetite, your uh, time management, and the uh, capital at your disposal all right and only then once you found your best configuration that has proven to be successful and you can uh, analyze it in your spot history so here you can analyze your past trades and you can look at them in more details to find which one has proven to be successful so for example you see like here I have minus 31 for icon. It's been my loser, like biggest loser so far over here. So what I will do, I will click over here to find out what was the mistake that I made. So I will find that you see grid spacing was 0.18%. The amount of grid levels was 116. So what I will do, I would go back to that point uh, when I initiated this trade and I would analyze what was the performance of the uh, icon back at that time and I would backtest it maybe with another configuration to see if there is a better configuration to generate higher returns or to minimize the loss All right, and I will look at my winners here you see 52% and it turns out that this was the winner, maybe because the grid spacing was optimal for this uh, cryptocurrency, 0.75%. And I had only 33 grid levels. You see, for the period of 216 days, it was, what, 52% of the return, which is a pretty decent number here. So maybe my best configuration is exactly 0.75% for such cryptocurrencies as BitTorrent. So there are many ways for you to analyze all of these trades 
and it's clearly up to you how you analyze your winners and losers to find best configurations. You can also launch simultaneously uh, using the trick that I will show you various strategies on one cryptocurrency pair. So what we know is that we have Bitcoin trading to USDT, right? That's right now 32,300. So the rule at BitGap is that you can launch only one uh, trade, like bot trade, per each cryptocurrency pair. So the trick here is that for this one, BTC trading to USDT, I can launch, let's say, the classic bot with the investment of a thousand and with the uh, grid amount of 100. So I know that this will be my the only uh, possible trade, but I can do the next thing. I can actually switch to Bitcoin trading to USDC, which is pretty much the same as BTC trading to USDT, except that the stable coin to which the Bitcoin is trading is a bit different, but still you see the price is around the same as USDT. So that's the trick for you. Switch to the USDC and now set a thousand, but in this case, not 100 grid levels, but let's say 35. And find out, like simultaneously launch them and find which uh, strategy has proven to be successful. Compare them. You can actually use another crypto. We have TUSD as well. All right, so this is where you can launch your third strategy with a thousand TUSD, but this time maybe you want to stick to 60 grid levels and we maybe with a different trading range, maybe you will not switch the trading up. So that's clearly up to you, how you can compare simultaneously different strategies. And as this is happening in the demo mode, the virtual money that you have, it's pretty much endless. And that's why you are free to go here. Like this, if this is a fully risk-free trading simulation for you. Find your best solution before you risk your real money on your real account, all right? So that's the primary logic here of like of the demo mode is that you experiment, you uh, analyze your weaknesses and strength before you switch to your real account trading, all right? So that's basically it for today. Uh, to learn more about uh, bit, yeah. to learn more about uh, other ready-made strategies, go to about blog. And once you go to the trading bot, you will find articles like this one, Automated Strategies, part one. So that's the one that I made in the past. And here you have some of the uh, patterns explained with the exact configurations to follow. All right. You see, for each strategy, I provide recommendations. So use this one as a guide for you to... Um, to learn more about automated configurations. So yeah, I always provide users with such articles. And there is actually part two as well available, which you can find. And most likely there will be a part three as well. And some new ready-made strategies I will be providing you with during the next webcasts. So that's why it always makes sense to uh, to participate in our webcast. And the biggest news is that we are about to launch the uh, futures bot. So you will be trading, you will be able to trade not only on the rising market, but on the falling market as well. So you will be able to short sell and to go long with the leverage. But that's going to be the topic of another webcast as we are about to launch the futures bot trading which is a, like the biggest update so far and there will be so many new strategies uh, to go over so that's why stick to like stay tuned uh, we will release 
some uh, YouTube gu guides. So subscribe to the YouTube channel as well, where you have also the access to previous webcasts and some video guides that I made as well. So follow us and uh, take advantage of the tools that we develop and implement on a constant basis. So like every three weeks, we make some changes, some minor, sometimes big changes. But you will always find that we provide you with better solutions. So two months ago, we did not have this feature of a daily bot profit. Now you have it, right? Next step is futures bot trading. So stay with us. And this is how you can make yourself comfortable on the cryptocurrency market. Because here at BizGap, you have all the tools that you need, both for the manual trading, for the automated trading, and for the portfolio management as well. So all in one platform for you guys to maximize your returns and to minimize your uh, risk on this extremely volatile cryptocurrency market. So that's basically uh, it for today. For some reason, I do not see the live chat uh, on the YouTube. So that's why I'm not able to see your questions. But in any case, uh, we have the uh, support option here. You can ask your questions here. And you can also go to the uh, Telegram chat that we have, where you can also ask your questions. And we, we have a friendly community of other traders and investors, as well as community managers that will provide you with sophisticated answers in any case. So experiment in the demo mode, use the ready-made strategies that I have for you, and yeah, make sure that your risk management is adequate. Do not risk more than you can afford to lose. So follow these basic risk management principles and I promise that you will feel yourself comfortable on this market.